dark at night. This is an update about Turtle Boy. Turtle Boy got arrested. Turtle Boy got arrested, okay. Okay, so that's, that's, uh, that's gonna be like, he's been setting it up like he's wanted that. And, um, that's, um, the prosecutor's in on it. And, um, and that person, who is that, that, um, the person, council, council person, what's his fuck, um, that he had a sign about, like, um, that guy's in on it. So if you look, if you look at the video, oh, it's starting to rain now, isn't it? Oh, isn't this great? I'll have to talk about her. Because it's like, that it had to rain. It's like 80 degrees and dew points like 78. It's crazy. It's going for a little while. It's like it's like October 9th or 10th or something. In the middle of the night. All right. Yeah. So um. Yeah. So at that meeting, when Turtle Boy has a sign and he has all the protesters, the can Canton um, City Council there or their board of selectmen, like you, you can look at. It, you can tell they're in on it. And um, the way the camera angles are, the camera, cameras are worked just for him, you know, and they, they do camera angles they've never, ever done before, where they, like, um, hone into Turtle Boy standing there with a sign, you know, and then show the rest of the crowd, and, you know, an angle they've never done, you go know, through all the archives, and that, that angle toward the end when Turtle Boy is standing there with a sign, um, they've never pointed that camera ever, ever at the doorway. That camera is um, up on the ceiling up there. And they've never painted it, pointed it over toward that doorway. You can see um, Turtle Boy with all his bad acting. And um, they still have a connection to Linsky. Um, Dan Linsky. Dan Linsky went to the, to the um, Berkowitz um, chief uh, police, chief of police, Berkowitz retirement. I guess it stopped raining, right? Um, he went to that, acting drunk and crazy with a former um, Boston police chief. What's his name? You know, an alcoholic old, like, Secret Service agent, crazy, talking about, all, all talking about drunk, driving drunk on their boat and stealing each other's boats and going crazy. And then, who's the other dare? Like, there's a lot of, um, you know, and the Middlesex County Sheriff had to come there, too. So you guys can find that video somewhere. Middlesex, you know, that connects to it. Because um, Turtle Boy was up there for the um, Michaela Miller thing. That was all set up. They made that go away. I think, I think, I think she, she actually did, you know, what it says. You know, but they keep the pressure on those other kids so they can't talk. It's all about, it's all about, you know, like bullshit they do. That's like, ends up being, connecting to their grooming you know, all kinds of sexual abuse. But it's not just because parties. It's not just derelict police for their parties and their derelict kids. But it's, it's, a, it's connected to the grooming. Now, Turtle Boy, I'm convinced he's connected to Linsky. You know, like walks like a duck, quacks like a duck. You know, you've seen Linsky with me, that video I have when I was young. Linsky was young and how all that goes down, right? You know, and, um, you know all that vibe and energy. So Linsky's, that's how he got started. Um, you know, or that's what he is. He's got he's got his undercover. He's got his, he, and he even said streetwalkers. He said um, Berkowitz. You know, one of the things streetwalker. I don't know what that means. And that that even might be one of their codes. Um, and of course, that means male prostitute walks the street and stuff like that. Or I guess it could be a chick, but um, but it might be their cute code for all their undercover stuff because they um, they hire from that. You know, so that's something I've noticed in Boston. They've they hire. Um, I mean, for their street scene. No, not undercover police. They're going to have a fake street scene. Both through the 2004 convention. 
The notice on Zelensky at the 2004 convention that at the Berkowitz going away party they have to have a derelict secret service. That's all the shit, man. It's 2004 and they're running out down on that one black dude politician. And they got Obama in there speaking and they got him all hung up. They, these guys hung him up and get him all bound up. And then they'll make sure he doesn't like kind of, they don't want him to get out off the plantation or whatever like and do a Gary Hart and get busted by the press. He's got to be like... You know, they, you know, once they got the stuff on him, they, they, they don't want him getting busted by someone else because they got to work it. That's what they did to Obama. That's what they're popping out now. Because Tucker Carlson's CIA, you know, he's popping this stuff out now, but he's fake. That's all fake. Everything's fake. Everything's fake. Um, but Turtle Boy's there. Um, the way he has his hat and all that, his mannerisms... He's all in fear and shit, and you see, and you see in the court video, he's all, he's all afraid, he's being pressed, he has to go do this. And the thing, the reason why I'm doing this is, um, probably, probably, I mean, one of the explanations is, um, he's pushing and he gets an arrest. He's, he's, he does intimidate witnesses and they keep it off the, um, trafficking thing. Yeah, because it's all about trafficking. That's why he even got on it in the first place. And it's like, um, so, uh... So this, this one, you know, by pushing it to arrest, and the DA is in on it. The DA, like, they, they set up this, you know, whole thing, and it's a cooperative thing. So now Turtle Boy has a right to discovery and all this stuff, and they got and they have an order on him, and he can be like, they're like, don't talk to anyone. Don't talk to, and don't make it even an email or anything on Facebook. And so they have to justify, and he can do discovery, and he can just move stuff along like that. And he's got all entangled. So now they got... Because that's what they're desperate. They want to have routes like that. That's why they keep the Karen Reed case open. Because the um, the locals, the, the, sh the, the shit, they want to, maybe even the feds let them do it or want them. But they want to keep it so they have discovery. And, um, you know, so they, now they need a third rail. They've got to open up Turtle Boy with a third rail because you can't rely on the Karen Reed defense and all those guys, Kevin Spacey's lawyer, to play whatever their part, whatever. Because, like, they, they're at risk. You could have, like, some weird thing takes all national attention away and she gets um, convicted. You can't let this case hang open, you know, so they're not going to play certain things. And you got in, in, in the scumbags, they got to play it so this case stays open. Um, and the defense can only do that because they're not like on it like that. They're not trying to cover up the shit. They, 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 they can't, there's no guarantee they'd rather get it closed because it, it could go to shit and the reputations be wrecked. You know, she'd be right dumb. So they don't want it open. Like, they'll do it like if they have to. It has to be put in front of them like they have to. And stuff. And that's that's why even they played that one thing. They had that motion um, to reduce bail. Because they get another bite of the apple. They get to say all kinds of shit. And what the fuck's with this case. And reduce the bail. But it's not the motion to dismiss or anything like that. Or any other, other kind of stuff. So they get, some more, so they get to test it out. You know, put dip their toe in the water, do all the shit, run some shit without blowing their chance. And, you know, not, so they can't be told, you know, you already did that. So now, now they're still kept all their other options open. If they do have a right to have another motion to dismiss or anything, it's not like they already did that. They're, they're just saying reduce bail. Um, you know, and so, and that judge, she, she's, um, she's on the hook, man. They got her, they got her the locals and stuff. And that probably, came in, like, I think the feds were on this, like, way early, when Burkitt's with some, announced his retirement way early on, you know, the fix is in way early, okay, you know, but that judge, I don't think, knows it, the Karen Reed judge, and she's like, she probably knows it now, but she didn't know it, even that day going to the arraignment, she's one of the targets, even, or just one of the good things, I think, okay, so you have Turtle Boy standing there, and you see all his mannerisms, okay, and Linsky, uh, I'm convinced that, that Turtle Boy, um, I haven't studied a lot about him, what the hell he is, he's so annoying, so, but, you know, he does his, you know, fake news thing, okay, so, he's all, he's all connected to that, he's got to be a Linsky thing with it, all the fake street scene, all the shit, and if I looked at my videos enough, maybe I would see him, maybe you could see him there, you know, his little curl baseball hat, and, even back then, probably, even 20 years ago, probably, but, uh, like, um, um, yeah, but, 
he would have, yeah, so he, he would have been, so, so he's coming from there. But the thing is, okay, so so where, you know, Turtle Boy, what, what the hell? You, oh, so you got the name Turtle Boy, okay, of course what that means with the statue or the, of the boy, you know, doing the turtle and stuff like that. And so it's like, you know, like that. Okay, so Turtle Boy, it's obvious. He looks like these guys. Okay, I'd run into him around, um, I put it in a comment once, I, you know, around um, City Hospital, you know, Boston Medical Center. Um, they used to not just be Methadone Mile, it used to be, it used to go like Wally's, Wally's in the um, South End, and you go down, didn't really start there as much, but then around down City Hospital on Boston Medical Center, that corner, you'd have some male prostitution, and also guys, they, they always had that jail there, I guess, um, yeah, they had the jail, and it might have been, yeah, you know, that not going all the way back, but, um, because I ran into some guys there, and they'd flip in and out of, like, the, you know, claiming that they're, uh, you know, male prostitutes on the street. They all wear their little baseball hats like that, too, and they do their thing. And Trouble Boy has all those mannerisms um, and all this weird shit. But um, they do that, and they flip in and out of undercover, pretending they're undercover police. You know, they, they were doing me one night, you know, doing, and also threatening to throw me down behind the car, kind of like that. And I had my jogging pants on, these little... Little teeny jogging pants on, man. I think I didn't even have a shirt on. I mean, it was a thin shirt. So I was running. I think I have my little backpack. So I was going to run all the way to Harvard's Grace run five miles a day. And barefoot, too. They're were, they were actually pretty cool, though. But th those are some streetwalker dudes. Maybe someone... God, maybe they were fucking undercover, too. But uh, I could tell now. I couldn't tell then. I think they weren't. I think they were just uh, the dudes. You know, but those guys flipping it out. And then in other places, I'd seen those same kind of guys. And, and they were talking about how they came from up from the jail. You know, they're, they're up there in jail, and they do all stuff. And they do lots of service in jail. They were saying how great it is being a good little vacation. Um, and, if, and then they're, like, fucking uh, acting like, you know, because the jail's there, they're going to be down here. And it's right the police make them do that. Because like, it's not like you get out of jail and you... Just traveled a few blocks. You know, you have to go to different places and do different things. But, um, you know, but they, they'd let them be there around city hospital. There, there's a certain area, and then the high end guys can cruise by and get them and stuff. And that's before you had all the dating apps and all kinds of stuff. It used to be you have to meet on the street, different stuff, guys. Um, I used to live in the Fenway too, so like up up in the public gardens, and that was interesting. Was okay, so um, later. Um, so at the Fenway, in the Fenway, um, in the Fenway neighborhood in Boston, there was, maybe 22 years ago, they're still there, 25 years, but half, halfway house, like if you're in jail and you, and, but you know, halfway jail house, halfway house, like that. Um, and so, and maybe that was 25 years ago, and it was, you know, it's, it's there for a long time, but I'm thinking of a time when, and um, it'd be like they'd have a, they claim to have a perimeter. Maybe these of you guys are always bullshitting though. They have a halfway house and you're supposed to have an ankle bracelet. Um, and you can't go beyond a certain perimeter. So the guys could go hang around. They could go out in that field and kind of go off and relax. And it, maybe they're just bullshitting about the perimeter, like it was an ankle bracelet. But um, there were some guys there once and they start talking to me. They're sitting on the grass and start talking to me. And that, that guy alternated between being nice and talking and then, then saying he's a, a police and about to arrest me. And he's with his friends. And, and like he's practicing it. So they do their thing. So they, and it's a weird thing. Cause they, and so what I'm thinking, and it makes sense. And Turtle Boy looks just like fucking just every manners and everything. Okay, so they go slip in and out of undercover police. They hang around with undercover police. And you got those things... They do the, um, you know, political demonstrations and shit. That's because Linsky draws on that. He draws on that, and, and the women too. You know, draw. You know, in the old days, in, in 2004, or the, or the guys he's working with. They draw upon that because, like, how, how do you get all these actors out on the street? And you get people, and, and then at the protest um, when Roe v. Wade got canceled that day um, a little while ago. And I did those videos. And then I, I had some footage that then got erased by the undercover. She's an actual cop, too, if you listen to her. The one that's um, making a movie of me. 
I'm pretty sure, because you hear a couple things she says. And she talks about shit. She said this cool thing, like, um, she said she had some cop friends and they liked um, my video about, about um, oh, the last cowboy and how it, the dude and how he used to smoke in the car. You know, you, because he got in, he got in on the force, like, it was just a couple years before, um, like, they have some mandated thing, like, you know, if you've been on the force for a certain long time, you know, you get to smoke, because it's like you're an addict, and so they, he got to smoke, and the cars would be all polluted, and they'd have to clean them out, and it's like a legend. What's his name? Okay, so, but anyway, um, yeah, so that that's that that's a big connection, and with Linsky especially, like relying on the um, on the streetwalker thing. He jokes and says the streetwalker, but relying on those services, and he comes from all that, you know, the guy end of it. Yourself, Linsky does, and you can see that in the undercover still. You can see that in you know, like how it is. And this one dude was like has a house in the South End, the one that did me on when I tried to vote. That one of those times I was going to vote. Um, I think I ended up voting that time, but, but, you know, the way the undercover came with his baseball hat. And he has his wrinkly forehead, but that's all fake forehead, I think. So he ends up, you get angry at their offensive wrinkled forehead, but it's like some prosthesis. But, um, but, um, yeah, so, um, so they have that connection. That's how they can get their big street act going on. Because you see that, that videos have from 2004, how it's all the street actors and, um, but that's some national shit that came in. Um, but, um, oh, but anyway, back back to the Roe v. Wade. There's a, the Google Union was there, all those kids. And they were in all in one spot, and they, I think they connected to that cop chick. And then you had all the chicks that are really, really good looking, and it's got to be high end. It's weird that they'd be activated like that. And it's coming from their high end escort service, and they activated them. Just like they bring the Google Union out and high end escort service. It's disgusting, you know, so it'll be probably something with, it was Linsky, because he's hit the skids. Um, probably all the stuff hits the skids, man. You know, and another, um, that, that, uh, that, um, website got closed down, those fuckers, um, it was, um, okay, it's still foggy here. That website, the Boston 617 or 617 Live website. It's like this racist ratchet thing. Now if you look it up, um, 617live.com or something like that, it's like, they act like, we're regular news now. And they, you know, it's not like all like black guys, you know, racist, all the racist um, handcuffing, you know, that they photograph police, they got inside police stuff. Um, so that's close. Now this probably connects to Turtle Boy. Him, it probably is him, you know, or him with the guys, like all the technical guys, because it, it wouldn't be like he'd have two different things. But that, that stuff got closed down. They had to stop being racist. They're, they're working on that stuff. And, um... Uh, yeah, so... It's messed up because they think they're good. They had Canton. They had the police chief. And it's all good. The Anti-Defamation League's out there. They think it's all good. And it's like, it's shit. They just get... They're like, you handle it. We're gonna have, like, stuff, you know, bottled up. And because it's Norfolk County, so you have the parts like Brookline. It's one thing, and then you got Copland, Canton, the same county, and they think they're good, and they don't overlap, and they're getting played. And then they realize, holy shit, our guy can't even be in here. He's, we got to yank it out, leave the poor lady in there, cop, chief of police, and just let her take the heat and it, as it goes to rock, because it's, it's just ratchet, garbage, and you can't say anything about it. There's nothing to say, man. And, um, God, man. And they're setting her up. She's like reading, it's like she's reading from a script. They're playing her. And she's saying all the stuff they want her to say and going crazy and stuff. And messing herself up. Um, it's a mess, man. They'll have everything opposite day. They, they control all the, all the bias crime. Like that, you know, that, the, for Norfolk County and then Boston, the bias crime. They might, you know, from what I've seen from the examples, like, um, that's one of the first things they capture. You know, so like you're fucked, you're fucked. Fucking hopeless, man. That's how you get the anti defamation league and the whole fucking thing. You have that unit and they use it against, you know, everything's opposite day. Everything to protect women is destroying them and, 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 and capturing them and capturing young, you know, kids to groom them. And I, and I mean, groom, groom usually sounds like you get played, 
you know, but they use shock, trauma, and shit. And it's like the whole community going shit. It's not like someone just does it and that's cause and effect. It's like the whole community just things happened and they manipulate stuff. And so you get this crop of people that age out into like, you know, they got them and they work them. You know, it's like what they accuse us um, young guys in Europe of doing, except they're fucking doing it. It's this ratchet motherfuckers too. Um, these white dudes here in Boston. They're, they're in Boston. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, so Turtle Boy's like, um, fucking, you can see him the way he stands there, the way he messes around. And he's doing so bad, it's kind of like he's like, wants to be all, all afraid and stuff. And you can see, like, cause, uh, it's, it's like, he probably afraid, but he's also plays it. And like, where do you fucking get? So you play all like little guy, you know, little, we weenie, you know, fucking, that's from what the fuck I said, right? You know, you play, oh, man, he gets, you know, he looks like a little guy with his baseball hat standing on the corner, you know, like 20 years ago. Like that, you can fucking see, man. Motherfuckers. And so, yeah, that's that. And you can, you can watch, you start getting your head around it, you get that little bit of info. And, like, if you're in some other country, you know, like, you you you, you kind of good. You need to get pointed in that direction because I just see it and just like you know. Fucking, that's why I don't want to deal with Turtle Boy. I don't really I don't really research him. I haven't really looked at it. It's like a few things and don't, don't like it. Um, it's disgusting. It's just all that cop shit. So and I think um, a lot of stuff in Boston like it's all been it's been street theater undercover bullshit the whole time and that's what bugs me. Um, that's where I get allergic to. You know, like, like, started calling them all snitches, but it's a lot, a lot of it's undercover. But yeah, so that, that's what, that's what that is. A turtle boy got, got himself arrested, um, you know, but that's the district attorney for Norfolk County that's in on it and working it. But that guy's working with the feds, um, the, the main thing. So they're working a certain thing and he's able to delve in. And it could have been turtle boy pushing it so fucking hard. You know, because they're all bitches. It might be like there's some. He should be. It shouldn't be any kind of crime, right? You might say, but like, like these guys are Nazis, basically. So you push it, push it, push it, and there's some line where they arrest you, and it ought to be like more. You know, you're over the line, and it's a crime, and really, they it's the lines before that because these guys are liars. But he, he just you know keep pushing. It. He does that. Um. It has to get himself entangled in the case, and they want it. The district attorney wants it. And it could be the feds are in it. It could be all one thing all sewed up. It's all fucking sewed up. And it couldn't be they're faking out all the fucking shit, like that judge before. Maybe and whoever. And you saw how they have all the fucking undercover and the feds all over that fucking, all over that town for the arraignment, right? And now, you know, like nothing, no news media except for those guys. And those guys are in, in the shit, man. I said, I said they're the feds, but, you know, like four and seven news. They all, like, I'll get in that shit. See, it might be. Like, um, so I guess that's it, right? Got the, like, the weather's perfect here. Look, a foggy window. I guess that's the Turtle Boy update.